It's the dead of night when a knock comes at the door of Andy Timmons, local leader of a black militia unit in Yorkville County, South Carolina. Without hesitation, men in white hoods burst into his home and beat him within an inch of his life, demanding the whereabouts of military comrade Jim Williams. Finally, he gives in. The next morning, Timmons finds the body of Jim Williams, dead. Hung from a tree in the woods, the perpetrators nowhere to be found. Hello there, I'm Miles Catania, and you're listening to the What About podcast. Today's episode, What About Lewis Merrill? The lynching of Jim Williams would result in an investigation into the Ku Klux Klan, led by a man named Lewis Merrill. Merrill is what most would call an unsung hero. A Union Civil War veteran, Merrill specialized in anti-guerrilla warfare and held the rank of colonel by the end of the war. He, like many other Northerners, had heard the rumors of the Klan after the war had ended. But like most Northerners, he dismissed the Klan as nothing more than a rumor. In 1871, Merrill was sent to Yorkville County to deal with the Klan presence in the area. To combat the secret society, Merrill had to create a spy network that operated inside the Klan to gain the identities of key members. The intel he gained on the Klan was that of a staggering operation whose control spanned far outside Yorkville County. Merrill's journey became much more complicated and shocking than he ever expected facing an enemy that not only the North didn't believe existed, but had rooted itself within the Southern government. 